Hello everyone! Well, we were on a summer holiday and went to the beach and my daughter found all these cute little shells. So I decided to make something um, a bit different. I'm going to make a miniature snail with these small snail houses. So here we go. I took some different colored clay, some brown, some orange, some white. Uh, mostly brown and I um, mixed that all together but not a hundred percent I like you know, to have a tiny bit of variations in the colors and then I am rolling it into a snake with a pointy tail for the snake itself oh uh, no not the snake the snail of course I'm measuring out where I want the little snail house and then I'm just cutting it off in the length that I like and I'm making the end here nice and round so that it doesn't have this cut look to it and I'm using my different tools like fingers and another tool to uh, make this more rounded and nice looking at the tip then I am flattening the bottom of it by pushing it down onto the glass plate and here again I'm using my tool again to make it a little more flatten and deepen it out a little here at the bottom like you see me do right here I'm basically shaping it into the shape I want it to I'm lifting up the head a tiny bit because I want uh, sitting on one of these shells uh, and looking out for whatever might come to it so I'm just going to place it here at the shell making sure it has the uh, shape that I like it to have and that there is room for the little snail house here I decided to put a tiny piece of clay right there where the opening for the snail house is so that I have a bit more to glue it onto um, so I'm just going to place that on the snail making sure that it fits perfectly for the snail house so everything is placed like I want it to so I'm just going to shape it a bit I want the snail to stick on this um, shell here so I'm using some bacon bond on the outer shell and placing my snail into it. Don't use too much because that will uh, work just like soap. So that's the shape of my snail and I like it. Now we need some antennas. So I take a tiny piece of uh, clay and I'm rolling it out so I get this point in both ends. And I decided to use some bacon bond to put these onto the snail, uh, but that will later show that it's not really possible. Here we have both the antennas and I am going to bend the top of it a tiny bit to make a little uh, dot on the top of them or what you like to call it. I'm trying here with the bacon bond and placing it on the snail but as you see it will not stand up straight like I want it to. So I decide not to do it like that and I'm just gonna make these antennas or actually I think it's the eyes of the snail and just bake them first and then glue them on I have this uh, kind of toothbrush looking thing that I'm using to give the snail a bit of texture and later I'm going to use my uh, needle tool for that because um, I want it to have a really nice texture I am going to take a tiny bit of clay here and just do the same as I did with the antenna. This is the small antenna that is in front of the snake and I'm just uh, 
rolling them just like the antennas and then cutting them into the lengths I want. And now it is time for baking all these parts. Whoops. There we go. Let's bake. When it's all cooled down, I am using my super gel glue and I'm just putting a tiny, tiny bit of the glue on these antennas and placing them into the right spot. So the longer ones goes on top of the head, just like this. There we go. And then the smaller ones here are going on under the head, on the underside, uh, like you see right here. It's kind of like a little monster without the shell on. There we go. And then I let it dry for a few seconds before I give it a little glazing. I'm using a glaze for the Fimo and it comes with this little nice brush and I'm just uh, glazing everything because I like to see the colors on this little shell that I have here and you can see it's turning a little darker yellow with the glaze. I'm just glazing everything really good. Then I am gluing on the snail house on the place where I want it perfect and I'm going to glaze that as well. I'm going to use a tiny bit of UV resin to make this slimy uh, thing from the snail. I will show you in a second here. Um, and that is all there is for these small snakes. I made two of these because I had two different sizes of this little snail house. And I actually think they turned out pretty cute. I know it's not 1 to 12, but it's still miniature and I think it's actually turned out really fun. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.